everybody and welcome back to Go and Dragon Games. I'm your host Rocky2815, but please just call me Rocky. So today we have my Minecon haul. A bit belated, mind you, so with the videos, but uh, they took me a while to edit and I had other videos to put out in between them before, so apologies for that. But anyway, in this very lovely Minecraft bag that was given to me when I registered, you know, at the convention centre on the Friday, this nice iron golem. So, let's see what sort of goodies in here. One goodie that isn't in here, but I was going to wear, but I can't find, is my official Minecon exclusive shirt. So, I'll put a picture of that somewhere up on screen any time throughout this video so you can see what it looks like so let's see what's that yeah this is the first goodie well actually it's my redstone handbook that I bought ages ago but inside is signed by a very special person being the one and only Mumbo Jumbo. Um, I got this when I got a signature um, from the Atlantcraft Cody, also known as Cody the Maverick, and Joe, also known as Joe Buzz. Um, I got Cody's Minecraft name wrong, I believe, but it's a nice little sticker I got from Dan. I also gave him <coughs> some stuff I put some images up on Twitter, I do believe, and there goes the phone, so hang on just one sec. Everybody, I'm back. My mum got the phone. So anyway, what was I showing? Yes, this lovely postcard, sort of little picture of them, um, Dan, a creeper, and Dr. Trioris, signed by him. I actually met him three times. So Friday was the sort of day zero, getting the hotel and everything. Um, that I've got to film. So, <clears throat> but I went into the convention center so I could register early, so I could keep my wristband and lanyard and everything. And I actually met him in there, and then I met him again on Saturday, and then again on Sunday. But luckily I did manage to give the stuff I wanted to give to him. Um, if you want to see images of those things, they will be somewhere down on my July, June posts on Twitter. So if you want to see those, just go to my Twitter. But also, if you do go to my Twitter, please follow me while you're there. Um, also, I just picked up this free leaflet about some of these. I've never actually got any of these, but I do have one in there because it, it's a surprise one comes in there for all attendees. Just shows all the little figures on the back. So what we got? We got Ghast, Diamond Armor, Steve End, White Squid, Alex Black Sheep, Blaze with Skeleton, Guardian, Zombie in Flames. How nice! Slime Cube. Not sure which size. I presume the full size one because they, you know, every time you chop them down, they basically come back but smaller <coughs> and more. Uh, a mushroom zombie with iron armor, Steven a minecart, a cave spider, and a skeleton horse. Look for new series and more minifigures coming in 2016. So that's that. Now let's see what else so we got. We got some light. We got some redstone ore that actually lights up. And I didn't actually bring my scissors. Uh, but I'm actually going to attempt to open <coughs> this on camera. So for people who haven't seen these light up things, basically the ones that I've only seen at the moment are redstone and diamond ore. And they're basically like miniature night light. And... 
do believe they have batteries in, but I'm not actually too sure about that and I'm finding me really hard to open this on camera because I can multitask like R IRL, you know, real life, but um, when I'm filming a YouTube video and doing something else at the same time, I cannot. Also, just to show you the back, it comes in different brightnesses. So, the first brightness setting, rather, is low, and then we've got medium, and then we've got high. And here it is, it's a little packaging and the on switch is on the bottom, all the instructions there. Let's see if it actually turns on. No batteries. <coughs> Silly me, why did I actually think it came with batteries? What's this? Um, instructions. Read the very fine small print if you want to. Okay. Hopefully you got that. Um, <coughs> sorry if I seem a bit sort of not my regular self, like, not as energetic as I might be, um, but I've been ill, I'm still feeling a bit ill, so I'm not up to m too much talking, but needs must, especially this video had to have to be filmed and come out and also I just about feel good enough in myself to actually record and oh sorry I didn't show um diamond ore is the other one like I said and then we got oh it's not actually low saying it's soft medium brightness goodbye monsters Tap for diamond ore to cycle through three levels of brightness. If you have to tap them, maybe it does have batteries in. You just have to... No, this definitely does have batteries in. So, I'll quickly open the diamond ore. Rip through the packaging like the Incredible Hulk and oh this is actually packaged up a bit better than the Diamond or also the retail price is for these I believe are 15 to 20 pounds each and I'm not sure what that is in dollars unfortunately so any of my US viewers <coughs> and any of my other viewers who were uh, use the currency of dollars I will not I do not know how much it will cost for you so here is the diamond ore all nice oh uh, this is it. I should have got damn TTM to sign this actually and then put it back in the box and never mind I'll probably take these and get them signed by Mumbo and Dan so that's those two things That's me autograph book, but you don't really need to <coughs> see all that. Uh, this was actually the official Minecraft Jinx label off of the um, t-shirt. And here is my surprise Steve. Light little figure with a pickaxe. Also, if you can just about see, he's wearing the Minecon 2015 cape. <coughs> Which I did actually get, and I got a spare code, so I'm thinking of doing a competition of giving that code away. But let me know, do you think I should do a competition, give everybody a chance who likes Minecraft viewer and subscriber-wise here on this channel to win it? Because I think it'd be quite cool. Also, it's the sort of only competition thing I can actually do at the moment because, well, I don't have enough money to go out and buy stuff to be able to give away to you lovely people, which I wish I did, actually. I wish I did. And here we've got the official Minecraft 
Lanyard, London, July 4th to 5th. And this I got while meeting Parker Games and Jerome ASF. They had two colours of um, uh, little wristband things. They had red, they had pink. They were wearing pink and they said, are you going to go for the red or are you going to go for the pink? So I went for pink, Jerome ASF on one side and, oh, wait a minute. Parker Games on the other side. Their links were in the description of Minecon, one of the Minecon videos. So if you want to go and check them out, please do. They are great YouTubers. And here's the official lanyard that you needed to get in. So there were different lanyards. There was staff, YouTubers, etc, etc. Um, I just got the normal attendee one, obviously. Because, well... I'm not exactly one of those big Minecraft YouTubers. Um, and actually, very kindly, with the um, special Minecon t-shirt, um, the guy who was manning the cash ear gave me this special limited edition Jinx little badge thing that they were giving away. <coughs> also, I got the official Minecraft... Minecon 2015 pin badge set, Emerald Villager Iron Golem. And we have only got three more things in here, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> nice Minecraft pad and paper. I did have a Minecon pen, but again, that's gone missing, which I'm slightly worried of. So... And here's another pin, but this was actually given to you, so this bag basically, when you went to register and inform them, you know, we've got our tickets here, please can we have our lanyards uh, and whatnot, uh, you get one of these goodie bags. And of course there was stuff inside of it like Steve, um, the pad, the pen, the rest of the stuff was I just brought apart from the redstone handbook, like I said at the beginning of the video, but I got ages ago. But anyway, here's the villager pin. I forget what their voices sound like in the animations um, that people normally do, but they, the villager voices are really funny. Um, and finally, last but not least, we have got this. A medallion, bronze medallion with iron golem on one side, and if I can actually get it out, so iron golem, something even well to me more spectacular, <clears throat> and a dragon, and. All these things are going to go pride of place for definite. Actually, let's open the pin badge. Exclusive pin badges up and I'll give you a quick close up of them. I feel like this video has been very messy but with like the short time I feel well enough to record. Um, you know, I got just out, me stuck myself with a pin, uh, I gotta get these ready, so I'm sorry if I seemed a bit quiet in places or stumbling over my words or whatever, but I don't want to make this video much longer than it has to be, because I do not want to bore you people to death. But anyway, here is the Iron Golem, and yeah, I'm getting a bit glare if I put it here. So, in my camera, so I probably shouldn't do that. Now, let's get the emerald. And also, actually, special question of the video. And, by the way, I did say question. I do sometimes mispronounce things, as we all do. Oh, uh, emerald. Very nice. Really like it. Got to wear it sometime, actually. Um, so yeah, 
for anybody who was a Minecon who's watching this video, please comment in the description. <laughs> comment. Comment in the comments, not the description, because that bit can only be edited by moi. <laughs> and he's the villager zombie. And the I said zombie, of course. So. <laughs> this is something you should expect from me by now for a long time subscribers. <coughs> stuck in my little bedside cabinet here I'm not even joking you the sword door bit on this side it's actually got my trousers so hang on just for a minute got very little leg room here so I need to try and move my legs but anyway that's basically the end of the video so thank you everybody for watching and remember to like share comment favorite subscribe if you want to this video isn't the best of videos plus i'm recording something straight after this so that is one of the reasons why i'm in slight bit of a rush and also there are people coming to service the boiler at my home so i want to get to this done before they get here and start banning with possible hammers and making noises and possibly coming to check my radiator which for some odd reason hasn't been turning on working mind you you don't need it in summer so until next time remember stay golden stay frosty and biases <laughs>